The Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 4 earbuds are not the best ANC earbuds yet. If you give me five minutes, I'll explain why. Being the first earphones in our lens that we've seen with Bluetooth 5.4, these have some pretty lofty goals. However, the improvements in this Bluetooth stack are not for the top end, but more for you and me. But therein lies the problem. Because they're so far ahead, they have to wait for everybody else to catch up. For example, features like AuraCast may not be important right now, but as Bluetooth earbuds eat hearing aids and hearables, a lot of these features are going to be very, very important to a select few people. For example, being able to hear announcements at a venue or an airport is crucial to those who need assistance hearing, and this is the first product that's actually going to support it. For the audio files, of course, there is support for Aptex Adaptive, including Aptex Lossless, which allows you to listen to near bit perfect audio over Bluetooth. Weighing in at 6.2 grams per earbud, these are rather hefty chonkers. However, the large size does a fairly good job of distributing the weight. The case, which looks exactly like that of the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 3, packs in a wireless charger so you never have to worry about futzing with a USB-C cable again. While we're generally not wild about silicone ear tips, having multiple size options is a good idea, and the rather short nozzle length allows people with smaller ears to listen fairly comfortably. We also like the fact that controls are very intuitive, they use the same gestures that you're used to, and use a capacitive touch plate on the back of each earbud for you to control your music and calls. Additionally, you can customize these using the Sennheiser Smart Control app if you are unsatisfied with how the control layout works. Battery life is excellent for true wireless earbuds, even if they are not technically the best. Coming in at seven hours and 45 minutes during our standardized torture test, these earbuds stand at the top of the pack, even if they don't dethrone the Sony WF-1000XM. Fives. ANC is also very, very good, although it does have that characteristic dip in the mids that we saw from the Bose QuietComfort Ultra earbuds. The Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 4 is also capable of canceling about 83% of outside noise. This is good for things like commutes in a bus or in a train, and because of the battery life, this will also work really, really well for an airplane as well. Sound quality. Similarly great, even if they deviate from what we typically look for. The multi-dimensional audio quality scores provided to us by Head Acoustics are quite high, and that merits some discussion. So the mean opinion score for timbre, which is the balance of sound, comes in at 4.9 out of 5, which is one of the highest scores we've ever recorded. The immersiveness score is also very, very high at 4.4, and that drags the overall up to a 4.8. Objectively, these offer quite a bit more bass than what we typically look for, but it's only on the order of about two to three decibels all the way up to 450 hertz in the mids. But one of the more defining parts of this curve is that they underemphasize their highs by about five decibels all the way up to eight kilohertz, which is interesting to say the least. By doing this, they are making sure that the default sound of the earbuds isn't very fatiguing because sometimes in-ears have this ability to make our ears hurt with a lot of extra energy in the highs. That's not an issue here. Now, the Sennheiser Smart Control app offers a lot of different features like EQ sliders and the sound personalization, but there are two features I wanna call special attention to. The first is the geofencing, which allows you to set earbud behavior based on your geographic location, but the big one is the battery protection mode. It will trickle charge your charging case to make sure that your earbuds and case don't give up the ghost way earlier than anticipated, meaning these earbuds should last you a lot longer. However, the news is not all that good. There is one fairly notable flaw of the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 4 earbuds, and that is the mic quality. Though the quality itself isn't bad in good conditions, once wind rears its ugly head, you're going to have a very difficult time being heard by your conversation partners as the algorithm or the hardware does something to make sure that more noise doesn't get through, also killing the voice at the same time. Coming in at almost $300, $299.95, this is obviously a big investment for earbuds, especially if you're an iPhone user and you can't make use of some of the more advanced features. These earbuds should be pretty good, all things considered, even if you might not be getting the lossless audio depending on what phone you have. However, 
these earbuds will likely outlast your phone. And that's the important bit. So when you get your new phone, you can get something that is more capable of supporting all the features on these earbuds. And through the magic of video editing, that's been five minutes. Thank you all for watching, and as always, happy listening.